Okay, when we multiply fractions, it's useful to think of it as saying um, the time sign being of. So it's asking us what three quarters of one fifth is. So um, I can show it on a diagram with a bit of difficulty. So I've got, I've got a fifth. So there are fifths. So each one's a fifth. Um, and I want three quarters of a fifth. So I need to cut each of these fifths into four bits. So I've got a fifth. Let's say this is the fifth I've got. Um, I'm going to cut each of these into four. There we go, just about. Um, so there's my fifth. There's the fifth I started with. Those four bits there. And I want three quarters of it. So I want one, two, three quarters of my fifth. Um, so now what I've got is I've got three bits out of all of those bits in total. So I've now got three bits out of, well, um, there should be 20. <laughs> there should be 20 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I've got 3 out of 20. Um, the quick way of doing this is just to say times the top, times the bottom. So 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 5 is 20. So multiplying fractions, times the top, times the top, times the bottom. And that's all you really need to remember. So times the top, times the bottom, and then that's how you multiply fractions. So here's another example. So 3 times 2 is 6, times the top. 4 times 9, 36, times the bottom. Now this does simplify, because both these numbers are in the same times table. Um, they're both in the 6 times table. It's 1 times 6, and 6 times 6. So that's the final ones. Here's another one. We've got a mixed number here. We could change that first. So I've got two whole ones, and they're fifths. So that's 10 fifths plus 3 fifths, 13 fifths times 1 seventh. Now I can do my times top times the bottom. So 13 times 1 is 13. 5 times 7, 35. Final answer. They're not in the same times table. I can't simplify it. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Um, give them a go, and I'll put the answer up in a minute. Okay, so 1, 1, 1, 2 11s, 22. Doesn't simplify. 2 1s, 2, 5 4s, 20. They're both in the 2 times table, so I've got 1 times 2 and 10 times 2. It's a 10. Here I've got 3 3s. 9, 4 times 2, 8. I could change it to a mixed number, so I'll do that now. Um, I've got 9 eighths, so that's 8 eighths makes one whole one. What have I got left? 1. So 1 whole 1 and 1 eighth. Here I've got to change them first, so let's change them to top heavy. So 3 times 7, 21, plus 3, 24. Two nines are 18, plus 2 is 20, over 9. Okay, so 24 times 20, well, 24 times 10 is 240. Double it for 80, over 63. That is going to simplify. Um, they're both in the three times table. Um, I know that because four and eight add up to 12, which is in the three times table, and six and three add up to nine, which is also in the three times table. So that's a little trick. So, so we've got 480, which is 160 times three, and 63, which is 21 times three. I don't think that's going to simplify any further. No, it's not.